Trump asked for uh, a negative $117 million for HBCU. Oh. He proposed $117 million worth of cuts in four years. That's the number. That's the number. You never want it. They never yeah, talk about it. They would never talk about it. They'll look at the end and say, well, HBCU, the budget went up over $100 million. It did because members of Congress said, nope, you're not, we're not paying attention to you. We're going to add more money. In his, I think, one of his statements about uh, what Trump did for HBCUs, they'll say he increased HBCU budget by 14%. That was that first year. He didn't do that. That was Doug Jones and Kamala Harris. Because they wrote a letter to their colleagues. They had 12 colleagues sign on and say, y'all want to spend all this money on defense? We got to take care of HBCUs. Hold on, hold on. Let's not, let's, uh, let's not speak of it. So for all the people who say uh, Sila Kamala Harris shamed the number of black people, Kamala Harris and Doug Jones, that 14% that you, if you look on the, the list that they have from the Trump archives about what he did for HBCUs, and you'll see 14%, that 14% you can tie directly to Kamala Harris and Doug Jones. You can look at the letter. They advocated for that. So she was a big part of that money that HBCUs got, but then Trump took credit for it. His first year, he proposed a flat budget. He wasn't trying to give HBCUs any money. And overall, he tried to cut over $100 million. I don't even count it. Pill, I mean, SEOG, work study. SEOG, what is that? That's a, that's a supplemented ed educational opportunity grant that a lot of black students use all over, not just HBCUs, but that's an important program. And of course, black students know about work study. He tried to just decimate those programs. And so when he presented, particularly his FY20 budget, when he got rid of the $85 million, the Thurgood Marshall Fund wrote a letter saying, man, you're trying to cut everything. And that, that's, people don't want to read that. So you just look at the end and say, oh, he did such a great job. I said, look at his budget, because your budget shows what your priorities are. Right. And his budget was always a cut for HBCUs. And, and